Hi guys, welcome to my eight week bump date. Um, baby is the size of a two by two Lego piece. Um, it's also the size of a kidney bean. So still very tiny, but getting bigger. Um, the uh, hands and feet are starting to form. Let me look at my app because I can't even remember week to week like what's going on. <laughs> what's going on with this baby? Let me see. So the head makes up over half of the weight of the baby right now. It's like 0.4 ounces. Um, supposedly the baby is moving a ton, but it's still so tiny that I can't feel it. The organs are starting to form and pretty soon they're going to start functioning on their own, which I guess takes it from being an embryo to like a fetus, I guess. So symptoms for this week. I still have a ton of acne on my face. It's not going away and it's super annoying. Um, so that's been a bummer to deal with. I've been super thirsty still, I'm drinking a ton, and I'm peeing a lot more now. I feel like my uterus is growing and it's pushing more on my bladder because the past couple days I've been peeing like nonstop. I'm still feeling really nauseous, um, but I feel like the B6 is helping more. I've been taking 100 milligrams of B6 a day, and that does seem to be helping um, I get nauseous, but not as bad, and I went to my doctor, so my first doctor's appointment this week, which I'll talk about later, but in that, my doctor prescribed me a medication called Bungesta, and it's, I guess it's like a combination of B6, vitamin, and Unisom, so I've been trying um, that, and at first it was really good, but now I feel like I'm not getting enough B6, and so my nausea has actually gotten worse. Um, and so I put a call in the pharmacy a while ago to get the Bungesta and then the pharmacy called me and told me that it was like $195 for like a 30 day supply. So I was not about to pay that. So I'm just going to take the Bungesta until I'm out of it and then I'll just go back to the B6 and then I'm planning on going to the grocery store either today or tomorrow and getting um, some Unisom. So I can take that at night, and then I'll take the B6 during the day. Um, I tried taking the Bungesta during the day, but the first time I took it, I was exhausted. Um, it made me so tired, I literally felt like a zombie. So I'm not doing that anymore, I take it at night now, and when I get the Unisom and I start taking that, I'm just going to take it at night. I don't really have any cravings at all. Um, it's more like things that I want to avoid and smells that I want to avoid. A lot of it's like... The smell of like Grayson loves Nutter Butters or like these peanut butter crackers uh, snacks that he eats and I cannot stand the smell of that. My mom was like making bacon when I was in Toledo with them and I could not stand the smell of that so it's like really strong smells like I cannot stand. Um, but I found that if I inhale, like if I smelled like perfume and stuff like that like it, it was easier and better on me so I've been trying to like burn candles and stuff to have sweet smelling things. Because I'm nauseous all the time, eating is still a struggle for me. And it's so funny because at the beginning of this pregnancy I was like, I'm gonna eat so well, I'm gonna have salads every day, and I'm gonna snack on, you know, fruits and vegetables and all that. But it's like, now that I have this nausea, it's kind of like survival mode, and whatever I can get is what I eat. And so it's like, whatever sounds good, that's what I eat. And so it's a lot of crackers and a lot of like plain tasting things <laughs> um so i haven't been doing that well at eating healthy but i'm hoping that once the nausea passes i can get back on my healthy eating plan i do get really tired at night but i'm not sure if that's the pregnancy or the bungesta the medication um but usually at like 11 o'clock at night i'm just out and i um i sleep pretty well i usually wake up maybe once in the night to go to the bathroom um but now that I'm taking this medication, it makes me so tired. I don't have a problem falling back asleep, which was my problem in the previous couple weeks. So that's been better. So yeah, the big thing that happened this week is, well, a couple big things that happened this week. First, we had our first doctor's appointment. I wasn't able to get any recording of it because I was just so nervous. Um, but we went in 
I uh, had to fill out a ton of paperwork even though they should have had all that information since I've been a patient there since gray. But, you know, whatever. I filled it all out again. And then uh, they took me back and they took my weight, which I am one pound lighter than what I started out with with Grayson. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, they took my blood pressure, which was fine even though I was like super nervous and my heart was probably beating like crazy. I did have Anthony come with me to this appointment, so it was nice having him there for support. Um, I had a pee in a cup, which was, it's never fun, but you know, it's good that they do it because I need to check for like UTIs and different things like that. Um, and then we went back and we met with my doctor and we had an ultrasound. It was a transvaginal ultrasound, which are not my favorite because they're very uncomfortable, but whatever. So um, we did the ultrasound and we did see the baby. Um, we saw the heartbeat, but we didn't hear it, which is similar to how my first appointment with Grayson went. We saw the heartbeat, but we didn't hear it. And um, the baby was looking fine. Um, we could see the yolk sac. It was, it did seem like it was measuring a few days before what I thought it would be. So uh, at that appointment, I was supposed to be like one day shy of eight weeks. And when she measured the baby from like head to rump or whatever, it was measuring like three days prior to that. So it was only measuring like seven days or seven weeks, three days. So, um, I thought she was going to change my due date like she did with Grayson, but for some reason she kept my due date, so I'm staying at the 9th, even though the ultrasound said that my due date should be September 13th. So, not quite sure why she didn't change it, but I guess, like, the baby's going to come when the baby wants to come, so it doesn't really matter if my official due date is the 9th or the 13th, but it's just interesting because my when I went with Grayson, the, according to my period, I should have, my due date should have been April 1st, but when we did the ultrasound, she changed it to April 4th, and then of course he didn't come until a week later. So this time, I was again measuring three days later than what I thought, and so I would assume that she would have changed it from the 9th to the 13th, but she kept it at the 9th. Not quite sure, um... But again, it probably really doesn't matter. I'm probably just thinking too much about it. But it seemed fine. Um, I asked her if there's anything that I should know since this is my second one compared to my first. And she said that I'll just start feeling a lot of the aches and pains a lot sooner um, since this is my second pregnancy. My body's more used to what's about to come. So she said to just try to be prepared for the aches and pains a lot sooner. <laughs> so I did have like some back pain in the middle of my pregnancy with Grayson and then heartburn of course so I'm assuming I'm just going to start getting those a lot earlier than I did last time. And of course I'll st probably start showing a lot faster. I, f I do have a little bit of a bump but I feel like it's just bloat because the baby is still very small. Um, but yeah there's definitely like a bump there. But um, she printed off a picture for me for the ultrasound, so I'll try to show you guys, but it's like the grainiest image ever. It's super, like the one with Grayson was way better. This one is like super grainy, but I'll try and show you guys. There's like a glare, but yeah. So anyway, I'll try and do this. this so the black is my uterus, and then right here, oh, it's hard to do it because I'm like looking in the viewfinder. It's like right here is the baby. You can kind of see it. So, yeah, baby is right there. Very tiny. So, um, yeah, we got a picture. And so she told me that my next appointment will be in another four weeks. So I scheduled it for, like, the end of February. It's, like, the last Tuesday of February. I forget which day it is. The 25th or something, I think. I don't know. So I scheduled that, and she also told me that at my next appointment we'll do another ultrasound, but this one, they'll just put it on my stomach instead of doing a vaginal ultrasound, which is nice, but I just thought that was weird because with Grayson, I did not have another ultrasound. I only had one in the beginning, and then I had one at the anatomy scan, and that was it. This time, they're having me do another ultrasound, so I'm wondering, like, did they just change their policy? so that they do that, or was it because I got there and it was kind of an earlier ultrasound? I feel like my doctor's appointment was a lot later with Grayson's. So is it that, or is there something that like she has concern for? I couldn't really understand why she um, 
wanted a second ultrasound, and I didn't really ask her why because I didn't want her to be like, oh, if you don't want one, we don't have to do one, because I, of course, I want to see the baby as much as possible, but I just thought that was weird. But anyway, so I guess I'm getting a bonus ultrasound this pregnancy. So that, that'll that be good to see the baby, and hopefully we can hear the heartbeat next time. All good things, um, nothing bad yet. They took um, a bunch of blood from me just to figure out my levels and stuff, which I've already gotten all those results back and they all came back normal. So nothing to worry about there. And I did get a flu shot, which, oh my gosh, my arm was super sore for a couple days afterwards, but it's fine now. Um, which I've heard the flu is really bad this year. Everyone's freaking out about this like coronavirus from China, but I guess the flu has killed more people than that. So it's really the flu we need to be looking out for. But Gray's already um, got the flu virus and then I just got it. So should be good to go. But yeah, so that was my appointment and I'll go back in another four weeks. So that was exciting. The other exciting thing that happened this week is I just recently told my siblings that I'm pregnant. So, um, we had all of my siblings from all over. I have some siblings in Cincinnati, some in Toledo, and some in Columbus. They all came to my house in Columbus. And we had a get-together, and then I put Grayson in a shirt that says, uh, promoted to Big Brother, established September 2020. And I just put it on him and just waited to see who would notice it. And it only took them, like, maybe five, ten minutes. And my sister Allison was like, oh! and then they all saw it and they were all excited so they're all super happy to know I'm super excited that they know the last people we need to tell is Anthony's parents and we we're planning on doing that in a couple weeks they're gonna come and visit so we'll do the shirt thing again and see once they notice and then I just need to text like my aunts and uncles which um, my sister and I are gonna do a photo shoot with Grayson I already have an idea of how I want to do the social media announcement. I have a letter board and I've decorated it and it says I'm going to post it around Valentine's Day, probably the weekend after Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day is on a Friday and I think we're going to tell Anthony's parents the day after Valentine's Day. So I probably won't post until like the Sunday after Valentine's Day. But it's going to say roses are red, violets are blue, we are expecting or having baby number two. So um, I did not come up with that on my own. I got that from Pinterest, but super cute. So we're gonna have that, and then I'm gonna have Grayson in his Big Brother shirt, and I wanna get like a couple balloons, just buy them from the store, like inflated, some red, pink, and um, white balloons, and put those in the background, and then take some pictures, and then I'll send whatever picture is the best to all my aunts and uncles, and then once we tell Anthony's parents, and his grandparents and all that, then I will post on social media, and then everyone will know. And then I can post all of these onto, Facebook, or on, onto YouTube, so that you all will know, and you all will be updated as well. So I'm super excited for all that to happen. It still feels like forever away, which it is forever away, and today is February 3rd. So we probably won't post until like the 16th, probably 16th or 17th, so it's still like forever away. But at least we have like a plan. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. I think that's kind of it for this week. Um, I still tell Grayson like, you know, where's the baby? And he does point to my belly now whenever I ask him that. So he understands that, but I don't think, there's no way he understands like there is an actual human baby coming into our lives. So I have a lot of plans how I want to like redo our whole house because um, obviously we got to figure out where this baby's going to sleep and then I want to like move the toy room into an actual room because right now it's just like all over our house and it looks crazy. So I have a couple plans of things that I want to do so hopefully I get the motivation to get it all done before September when this new baby comes but I'm really excited. I've, I, I mean, I say this every video, but I am really excited that we're having another baby. I think it's going to be great for our family. I think it's going to be great for Grayson. He's going to have a sibling to play with. And I'm just excited to know if it's a boy or a girl. I think we'll know the gender, like, at the end of April, beginning of May. So, I'll have to do a whole gender reveal there. But, yeah, that's all to come. So, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.